Bow and seal. The River Styx, a PowerPoint by Spencer Leon. That is me. What is the River Styx? It's a river in Hades. It's one of five rivers. There are four other rivers, and they are named the Acheron, Cocytus, Phlegathon, Leth, and the fifth one is the Styx, the topic of this PowerPoint. Uh, it is the boundaries, is the boundary between the Earth and the underworld. Um, and it circles Hades nine times, um, <clears throat> and so it kind of serves as a borderline. Um, it's used as a passage for souls. The way that souls get into the underworld is by being ferried across the river Styx to, into Hades. Um, it is present in both Greek and Roman mythology, uh, though its origins are Greek. Styx is the Greek word for hate, and so therefore the Styx is the river of hate. Um, focusing on how it's a pass passageway for the dead, there is a um, ferryman named Chiron uh, who would transport the souls to Hades in the mythology, um, but he would not work for free. Souls would have to provide him with a coin that they would put in their mouths. And if they didn't do this, then they would be um, doomed to wander the shores of Hades, but only for a hundred years, because then he would give them a ride. So it wasn't that bad. Um, Hades uh, is ruled by Pluto, um, and the souls are brought to Pluto by uh, Chiron, and the souls are given to Chiron by Mercury, uh, the the messenger god. Uh, the river's quality. Some, there, there's differences in the mythology. Um, and this is where some variation comes between the, uh, the Greek and Roman river sticks. Um, but regardless, no man could resist its effects. Um, no god could resist its effects either. It was, a, it was something that was, that applied to mortals and immortal souls. Um, the water was considered a bad omen, and if anyone came in contact with it, they would lose their voice for nine years. This is just one interpretation of it, though. Um, others said that you would die as soon as you got in it, but in Greek mythology, they dipped Achilles in the river, and it made him um, basically invincible. Um, so the river has, has qualities. It's not just water. Uh, there's a planetary impact. Um... Pluto is named after the Roman god of the underworld. So that's Pluto, the, the not planet anymore. Um, and, and what's interesting about that is that Chiron is the name of one of its moons, and the moon circles the, the planet the same way that the river does. Um, and so it's some poetic justice. Also, Chiron is the son of the god of day and the goddess of night. Um, in the Titans realm, uh, and so you have that too. Uh, there's a, like I said, it's the river Styx is present in Greek mythology as well as Roman mythology. Um, in, in specifically their, their afterlife mythology, Styx is a Greek word, again, like I said, for um, hate, or it's derived from a word for hate, um, and both contain a ferryman. Um, like I said, there are some differences in the mythology, um, but the general gist is the same, is that it's a, a border between the underworld and, and this world, and there's a ferryman who transports the souls for money. Uh, and so here's some, an image of what the, kind of, to give a general vibe of what the River Styx is kind of atmosphere is like, it's very gloomy, um, k -Rod is often seen, um, paddling a, a small boat and um, in a robe and his face is not visible in the water um, in much of this imagery has takes on a life of its own again this is another gloomy image and the him again just with the pushing paddle uh, and face hidden the boat is generally 
seem to be the same shape and it's just all the imagery is very consistent with um, the mythology and so uh, the underworld in Roman mythology is generally going to be considered a dark and gloomy place and the River Styx mythology sticks with that um, that kind of trend.